Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to insert records into remote database of PHP My Admin for MySQL Server and also to prevent duplicated values when refresh the browser and the code I am using PHP. Let's go to the coding part. I am writing the code in Notepad++ and this Notepad++ contains the PHP file and this PHP file contains a simple HTML code has a table with headings first name last name city and three input boxes and one button control now it's time to write the code to insert values into remote database of php my admin let's start the coding in order to connect a database we need the database settings first thing is the host name and second variable I am declaring database name and third one is the username and the fourth one is password password now it's time to log into my PHP admin of GoDaddy and collect the host name, database, username and password. I am logging to my GoDaddy account to connect the database of my SQL. After logging to my PHP my admin of GoDaddy which is my SQL and here is a server the IP address is the host name just copy it and paste the, and paste the IP address here. And the next one is the database name. After host name here is my database name copy this database name and I am pasting the database name also after that here username and password I am using the fake ones for the security reasons At the time of uploading this PHP file into my remote server I will change into real credentials so for this moment I am giving the username and password And the next variable is database connection dbcon is equals to mysql underscore connect which takes three parameters one is a host name and the second parameter is a username and the third one is a password After that, mysql underscore select underscore db method which takes the database name, copy this database name and paste here. If is set dollar underscore host. In the post method we use the button name submit here one more thing is in the form action we have to mention the method properties equals to post dollar first name is equals to dollar underscore post between the single quotes and the second one is copying last name and the third one is a city mysql underscore query method which takes the insert statement here insert into insert into here table name values 
let's go to mysql db database and we'll check what table name we are using for this example i'm expanding the user database here the employee table i'm using this as an example and this employee table contains zero rows which means the table is totally empty there is no records but we'll check the column names here In the column names we have our city first name id and last name and this id is auto generate column let's go back to the coding part and we'll add the employee table with column names and here the table name i'm using employee and the fields the first name comma last name and the third one is a city here the values with dollar symbol single quotes comma single quotes comma the last name And the last one is a city. city. Echo. Record. Save successfully. Else. Echo. Fail to insert the record. Now it's time to upload this PHP file into my remote server. Now I'm in the GoDaddy upload files. In the tools file manager. Upload add file and this is a file name php mysql insert records i have just added php mysql insert records php i'm copy this file let's check in the browser now in the browser create discounts dot color in slash the file name enter now it's time to add the first record i'm using peter jack is mumbai save the record here it is the record saved successfully let's go to my database and we'll check the record is saved successfully or not browse here it is peter jack mumbai now we added the record successfully into the employee table but here the one problem is let's go to the browser when i refresh this page continue we'll check in the browser what will happen and browse again see it adding the duplicated values to prevent this problem let's go back to the coding part again now here in the echo just remove this add the header function which takes the location and the location is of this file name give it because i want to redirect this this file only php hyphen mysql mysql insert hyphen records dot php exit and here in the button just add the javascript here on click just make sure the record is saved successfully or not the message on click return 
mass metal after the table at the JavaScript script type is equals to text slash JavaScript slash script I just close the script here create a function and the function name is mess which is message a lot your record is successfully saved return boolean true save the file again I have to upload this file into my remote server after I updated the PHP file and I uploaded the file now it's time to add the new record here the first name I am entering is John and the last name is Ken and the city is Goa save the record here the message your record is successfully saved okay let's check in the database the record is inserted or not browse record here the third record john can go let's go back to the browser and we will refresh the page i'm refreshing the page Let's go to the database browse see here again I'm browsing here the records are not entering duplicate values when we refresh the browser that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos